Hello everyone, today I'm going to speak to you about Crown touchpads. Crown touchpads are these things and in this video I'm going to tell you how you put one on and why you might want one and some interesting facts about them. What are touch pads used for? That's quite a simple answer. They're used to give you a little bit of extra grip when mainly with your first touch, when you're controlling the, the ball, which we feel is particularly relevant when hockey is mainly played on a really slippery wet surface where the ball is wet, the pitch is wet, your stick is wet. Uh, and so something like a touch pad can really help with your first touch. The touch pad is stuck to the face of the stick like a normal sticker would be. I'll cut over now to past me who's putting a touchpad on right now. You first start by unpeeling the backing of the touchpad. It's really important to start off with a stick that is really, really dry and really clean. You then line it up to place it on the face of the hockey stick. You line the touchpad up with the edges of the stick and you begin to stick the touch pad down. You try and push from the center towards the outside so that you're pushing out the air bubbles. Even though it's perfectly fine to put a touch pad on at room temperature, we find that it sticks a little bit better if you start with a hairdryer or some kind of heat, like the stick is warm because it's been in the sun for a while or something like that. Just a little bit of heat makes for the adhesion to be a little bit stronger. We designed the touch pad specifically for crown sticks, but it does fit most brands of hockey sticks with a normal kind of shape. The main points when applying the crown touch pad though is apply it to a dry, clean stick. Even though the purpose of a touch pad is to provide a little bit of extra tack and help with your first touch, it does have a secondary purpose, which it protects the face of your hockey stick, particularly from light stick tackles, light stone chipping and sand erosion. To prove this, we've done a sandblasting test with our sandblaster here at Crown HQ, just to show you the protection levels of a stick that has a crown touch pad attached. So here within this video, we sandblasted a hockey stick. We put a crown touch pad on the face of the hockey stick and you can see that the face of the hockey stick is still shiny and new. The, uh, the touch pad has done a very good job at protecting it from the sand blaster's sand erosion. At crownhockey.com, we have two variants of the crown touch pad, standard and grooved. And the difference between the two is that the grooves of the grooved touch pad help reduce the spin that you get from a hockey ball. This is particularly relevant when you're stopping the ball dead or trying to perhaps stop at the top of the D during a short corner because any extra spin that lets the ball spin up and over your stick at these moments in the game uh, can be really detrimental. So the grooves are just there if you're that kind of player that receives a lot of spin passes or you really want to stop the ball dead. The question that we frequently get asked is how long touch pads last. These are a replaceable item, so we do expect players to take them off when they're looking worse for wear and replace them with a fresh one to get a fresh feel of the ball. So if you're playing fairly regularly, two or three times a week, we expect them to last about three weeks. And if you're playing uh, a little bit less frequently, they can last longer than that. Also, if you're playing on a really good, high quality water-based pitch, then we often find that players can really extend the life of their touch pads. And we've had players that have played with the same touch pad for 18 months. So it really depends on your style of play and the pitch that you play on. Thank you very much for watching this video. Try some touch pads out, see if they're for you. See you later, everyone.
Bye bye. And please like and follow us on all social media platforms. <laughs>